Hello, welcome back to this video in which I'm going to finally get IP connectivity between my two V-Edge devices. Um, my name is Roger Perkin and I have been building this Cisco SD-WAN lab in EVENG over the last two weeks. Um, if you're following along on the playlist then you know where we're at. We've got all the devices configured, everything's up and running, but I've got not got any IP connectivity between the V-Edge devices. And if you're new here then welcome. Um, you can see what's happening. Um, I've got these V-Edges that are all connected up. I just don't have IP connectivity between the two. So we'll just check the dashboard. And I'll show you, I've got three One Edge devices online. Um, everything's working. If you wanna see how we've got to this point, um, there's a link to the entire playlist in the description. So you can follow along from the very beginning literally installing each device and I build this completely from the ground up uh, but today we're going to get IP connectivity and we're going to be able to ping from this router over to this router so to do that we need to create two more feature templates in vManage and I need to create a template for VPN 1 so which is our service VPN which is the inside network here and I also create need to create another template for the GE 01 interfaces so let's do that so to create a new template we go configuration and templates and feature templates so i'm going to add a template the devices i'm using are the vedge cloud devices yours may differ um, if you're using this in production then uh, probably one of the isr routers or literally a VEDGE 1000, 2000 device. But for me, it's this VEDGE cloud and I need to click on VPN. What I'm gonna do is call this VPN VPN1. Now this is referred to as a service VPN. So let's just go back up to the top and I need to give this a name. So I'm gonna call it branch VEDGE VPN one, and this is going to be my VPN one template. And the VPN number here is going to be one. The name will be called inside. I'm not going to do ECMP keying at the moment. This is more for load balancing when we're using OSPF, uh, which we'll look at in a later video. I don't want DNS. And uh, this is what I do want. So. Cisco SD-WAN uses the OMP protocol, which is the overlay management protocol. And this is how it advertises the routes between all the VEDGE devices. So for this lab, we're gonna tick static and connected. And we can use, this is where you sort of enable BGP and OSPF, but we'll go through that in a later video. And also um, any IPv4 routes that you want to add in. So I will add a route in. So in this example, uh, in my topology, I've got this prefix 172.16.1.0 slash 24, which is going to live on this switch. So obviously this VEDGE won't know about that. So we need to tell VEDGE 1 uh, if you want to get to 172.16.1 or in fact tell the whole network here, um, this is the way to go and this is the gateway to get to it. So 10.1.1.2. So we're just gonna add that one in. So the prefix will be VPN zero, IPv4 prefix. It's not actually zero, it's one, VPN one. Now these keys here, this device specific key can be anything you want. Um, you just need to create something that means something to you. So when you build the template and you add the values in, you know what it's about. And then we add the next hop in. So the same again, this is a device specific next hop. So this is going to be, and these windows are a bit fiddly to click in just like that. Uh, here we go. So VPN one um, IP next hop. I'm going to 
going to call this one IPv4 next hop IP. Add that and you must click this add here. Uh, this box here I'll point out, mark as optional. Um, if you didn't want to push a configuration to a certain device, um, it, it would say that this field is optional. It doesn't have to be filled out. So at this minute in time, if I don't click that, then the template will want me to populate the fields for every device. If we only wanted to push it to a few, um, we could ignore a couple of devices and it wouldn't complain. So now I've got this branch edge VE VPM1 template, not attached to any devices. I'm going to add now the interface template. So the interface template, same again, VH Cloud and then VPN interface, Ethernet. And same procedure, we'll give this a, a description. So the template name is branch VE VPN1, and this is GE0 slash one. This is gonna be VPN1 GE0 slash one template. Now the global value here, I want to make this shut down no. The interface name, now this interface name is the interface name that has to match exactly. Now I know that it's GE0 slash one with a lowercase g. Uh, I've tried it before with the uppercase g and it failed because it said that interface does not exist. So you have to make this exactly what the interface name is. And then the description, we're gonna call it inside like that. Now the static IP address is gonna be device specific. So this is VPN1 IPv4 IP address. And we don't want to add any of this, no tunnel, no NAT, no VRRP and nothing else for the moment. And that's it. So now I've created two templates, one for the VPN one and the other one for the interface within VPN one. Now we need to attach those templates. So this one is here and you can see it's not attached to anything. This one here, not attached to anything. So we go back to our device template. This is the base template for the VEDGE router. I click the three dots and edit. And then I scroll past the transport and management VPN and we go down to service VPN. And then I can click on service VPN. And now you can see my branch VEDGE VPN one template. I'll select that one. I need to go over to here and add a VPN interface here is my G01 interface, I can add that. Update the template. Now it's gonna prompt me to input the values for those interfaces and next hops, because at the moment these fields here are empty. So I have to, I'll show you if you actually click next now to move, it will just say required fields are missing, and these are the required fields. And that box that I showed you earlier, the mark as optional, if you'd have marked all these fields as optional, or one of the fields as optional, you could have then passed on and carried going. But at the moment, all these fields are mandatory. I have to fill them out before it will take the template. So this is now VEDGE01, and the prefix, so the subnet inside uh, is 172.16.1.0. So that's the network inside my network and the next hop to get to that one is gonna be 10.1.1.2. And then the IPv4 address for the interface is gonna be 10.1.1.1 slash 24. So that is for this VEDGE device here. I've said, if you want to go from here to get to 172.16, you need to hit this interface and 10.1.1.1 is the interface address on that interface there. So VEDGE2, we'll do the same again, the 172.16.1.0 slash 24. The next hop for that one is 10.1.1.6. And the interface IP address uh, was 10.1.1.5 slash 24. 
And finally, VHO3, which is this one over here. And that one is going to be 10211. Now, I don't have another network configured here at the moment. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll add one here to prepare for it. So I'll do 172.16.2.0 slash 24. And the next hop being uh, 1021254. And the IP address on that interface is going to be 10211 slash 24. So that's all the values filled in. We can click next now. This says three devices are going to get new configurations. We click on one of the devices and you can actually preview the config that's going out. So if you click on config diff here and then side by side diff, this is my VHO1 device and we scroll down, you can see this is the config that's going to be added. So green is added, red's taken away. Um, it's going to create VPN1, it's going to call it name inside, it's going to create an interface. It's going to give that interface an IP address and it's going to add a route in and then under OMP it's going to advertise the connected and the statics. So if I just show you from VEDGE3's perspective, if we just log into here I'll show you the routes. Currently it's got only connected routes. So VEDGE3 has no knowledge about any of the network. So we go back to vManage and they're going to click configure, confirm that I'm configuring three devices, that's fine. I could have checked the other two routers to validate their uh, configurations, but I'm pretty sure it's all going to be fine. Now you see this will go and validate the, the change and then this will go into in status in progress here this is now working out the changes pushing the changes and we'll bring up the the edge 3 device alongside now the change normally happens pretty quickly and this normally takes a few more seconds to catch up if i show run on vho3 you can see that i now have vpn1 so this is the exact change that was going to be pushed vpn1 name inside description ip address and a route and then advertise connected static now we can see we've got a success here so all the three templates have been pushed now the proof in the pudding if i click show ip route now let's open this up i've actually got a um omp route in place here so we've got the actual OMP route. Let's go through here what's happening. Um, so I, I've got 10.1.1.0 is available and it's available via both of those devices, 10.0.120, also via 10.0.21. And it's also telling me that 172.16.1.0 is also available by both these devices. Now this T-Lock IP, so this is the IP address that uh, SD WAN uses for the sort of entry point into each device. It doesn't use the, the sort of physical interface, it uses this T lock, which is the system IP. Now, if I try and ping now from here, 10112, uh, it's going to fail because it's default. By default, it will ping into um, VPN 0. So I now need to ping. Specify the VPN 10.1.1.2 and I get a reply. So that's working. So what I've done is I'm on this device here, VEDGE3, and I can ping over the SD WAN and I can then ping this address here, 10.1.1.2. Now we could validate that we can get to this, so I just need to make sure on VLAN 20 that I have that in place. Let's just have a look. Show IP interface brief on this switch. So if I go interface VLAN 20, IP address 172.16.1.254 and 
And also I need to configure a default route on this switch. IP root zero 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 and dot one dot one dot one. So we've now I've now configured um one seven two sixteen one dot two five four interface VLAN twenty no shut Let's just put a port in there, uh, GR0 slash 1, switch port access, VLAN 20. That should bring up that. Not yet. That'll come up in a minute. No. Okay, we'll come back to that. But the main thing is that from VEDGE 3, I'm getting the routes. So I'm actually getting a, a route advertised. So this was the static prefix that I put into OMP. And I said, this is the prefix. The gateway is inside. But within SD-WAN, it's telling me this is how to get there. Okay, let's just see if that, um, oh, that's better. That took a little while to come up, but um, I've now got 172.16.1.254 available on this switch. So here I've now got 172.16.1.254, which I should be able to ping from VEDGE 3. So back to VEDGE 3, ping. Remember VPN 1, 172.16.1.254, and there we go. So I've now got full IP reachability um, across my SD WAN, and we go the other way. I'll just show on the edge one and the routes work. Oh, so show IP route. And it's the same the other way. We've got uh, 10210 and 172.16.2.0. It's an OMP route and it's accessible via this TLOC IP. So I hope that that um, has shown you how to get IP connectivity on your Cisco SD WAN. Um, we've configured the VPN0 template and also the interface on the inside. So that concludes the basic setup of my lab. We've got IP connectivity and in the next video um, we're going to start looking at OSPF and BGP and redundancy and HA using two VEDGE devices. So thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed this please hit that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.